Welcome to Science Direct. When you open it up, this is, or something similar to this, will be the page that you see. Science Direct is a really great database for any science related um, topic, whether you be focusing on the biological sciences or the behavioral sciences. It's worth checking out, but there are a few quirks to it. When you first come to this page, you're going to see this advanced search option next to the set of basic search options. And when you click on that, unlike other databases where you see multiple lines, you only have one to insert your terms. So to make this search really effective, you need to use parentheses. So in following with the searches I've been doing, I'm going to use parentheses and the opioid crisis. And I still need opioid epidemic I still need to include the quotation marks for phrases and I need to capitalize the ors and the ands Think of the parentheses as the notation for the line. So if you were to go into Academic Search Complete and enter your terms, each separate line in this case is a separate set of parentheses. So opioid epidemic and opioid crisis would be on a separate line from the United States, USA, America, United States of America. And I separate those by those parentheses. The ors are in the parentheses, the and is outside. So in this case, I'm telling the database, include both sets of parentheses, but pick any term from either set. Doesn't matter what combination, they need to be included. I can't select what's a subject and what's a keyword in this case, but this is a pretty good way to narrow down my results. In this database, it is important that you capitalize your ors and ands, and if you choose to use it, not. Otherwise, the, the searches just don't come out the way you're anticipating, okay? And you can select other things from here if you'd like. If you find author-specified author specified keywords or if you're looking for something in there, you can try that on this line here. Um, if you're looking for a particular year subset, you can put those years in here. There are more fields as well. If you're looking for a t particular article type, I'm looking for research articles, so I'm going to select that. Maybe I want data articles as well. You can select as many things here as you want. Typically, you're probably looking for those research articles, maybe some book chapters, case reports, and click search. And I have 1,274 results. Okay, It is quite a bit for me to go through, but that's OK. I, ha I can look at different publication titles. So show more. This might help me narrow it down. Um, if I were to look at more of a, let's say I want to look at what different, what the pharmacists are saying, Journal of American Pharmacists Association, substance abuse treatment, if I was looking for specifically at treatment, what I could see what that journal has put out on this topic. The choice is yours. Some of these you might not have access to. It looks like I have access. I don't have access to this one here. So as I scroll down, I can see that, right? It's just going to show me the abstract to it. It's just something to make note as you as you go go through your results. If you're if this is all you see, if I click on this, I'm not going to be able to read this full article. Now that doesn't mean that we can't get it through interlibrary loan but interlibrary loan could take a week or more. So if you need it right now, you want to pay attention to something that has like this download PDF, or it might say something else. Can't remember what this database says, and of course I'm not seeing any um, that would indicate that it's in full text. If I click on one, and you see this full text access next to it, open access. Open access means that it is readily available to anyone, anywhere, 
in the world, they have access to that article. Full text access is part of the database. It is a paid for is part of the paid for subscription. Open access is no is the same quality as that full text access, so don't let that throw you. Um, with open access, they're just trying to share their information with as many people to help build on that body of knowledge. Okay. And let's click on this one. It's from that Journal of Substance Abuse Treatment that we saw over here on the side. The State Targeted Response to the Opioid Crisis Grants Program. And when I click on it, there's some highlights in the middle. And this one gives me this abstract to start with. And on the other page, you saw the abstract as well. You can read the abstract, make note of these keywords. These keywords can help you in searching in this database, but also in other databases, knowing what terms they're using. Maybe I want to try that opioid use disorder and see what comes up in some of the other databases. The abstract, if I read this, helps save me some time. This article, let's see if it tells me how many pages. It's not too many pages, but some articles could be up to, say, 30 pages. If you have that shorter abstract, it's a summary of the full article. It will give you an idea of what you're going to read and if it's going to be useful. So go ahead and read that first. And then you can scroll through. You could read what's whatever's important, whatever calls out to you. Maybe you're, you want to see their, their study and their methodology for their study. I want to see their resources right now. Here are the references that they used. I can check these out, see if I have access to some of them. Some of them, like this one, JAMA, we have access to at the library, so I could see if I have this through another database. Might help me with my research a little bit. Now as I scroll back up, what you might be noticing is that we're not seeing a citation with this database. If I click on export, I can export citation to text. We do not have Mendeley, we don't have RefWorks, we don't have RIS, whatever. So I would need to export it to text and that opens up this separate um, window in Notepad. But this isn't really my citation. So what I would need to do is open up maybe a citation builder or I'd need to build it based on this information. If you'd like to use a citation builder, Noodle Works or Noodle Tools Express tends to be pretty reliable. Now with any citation builder you're still going to want to check um, the citation manual or the Purdue OWL. Double check just to make sure everything, once you've built it, that it comes out as it should. But a citation builder might help you just make it a little bit more um, accurate. You can copy and paste this information right in. Okay. You can also download this PDF. Download the article. This will allow you to read it offline. You can print that download. You can save it for later. Um, read it whenever. I recommend you do that or you share this, maybe email it to yourself so that you have access to the article at any time. Just in case you perhaps forgot how you set up your search terms or if you had clicked on a journal on the side and you forgot which journal you selected to get to this article, just make sure that you somehow have saved it so you can use it later. All right. If you have any questions with ScienceDirect, please do not hesitate to reach out to the library. We are always happy to help. You can contact me directly at lisa.anderson at muskegoncc.edu. You can call my office directly at 231-777-0274. You can stop by the library anytime we're open. Any librarian at the desk will be happy to help you. You can call us directly at the reference desk, so whoever's out there will answer that phone at 231 seven 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 zero three two six we do have to be open to answer it but you can also leave a message and as soon as we see it we will call you back so please 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 if you have any questions whatsoever just let us know we're here to help you